An EQ or equalizer is kind of like the Swiss army knife of audio plugins. It serves a lot of purposes. What an EQ does is it allows you to selectively reduce or raise any given frequency. So you can shape the sound. You could shape how much bass it has, how much high end it has, how much mid range it has, or any combination of those. I'm going to explain EQ using the FabFilter Pro Q3 EQ. We go to Plugin, EQ, FabFilter Pro Q3. This is an extremely flexible plugin. If we look at the EQ at the bottom, we see 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So this is the frequency spectrum. This yellow line represents the gain. So if I were to add an instance of EQ at about 1,000 hertz, I do that by double clicking on the line. Right now I'm pushing up about 1,000 hertz, 1,014.5 hertz by 3 dB, or I can pull that down. So right now I'm pulling down 1002.3 hertz, about 3 dB. If you want to be more precise about the frequency, you can double click on this value and type in the value you actually want. One of the reasons Pro Q3 is used so much is that you can create nearly an infinite amount of EQ instances, and each instance has its own set of controls. Let's take a look at the controls on each instance of EQ. First, you have a bypass switch. What the bypass switch does is it allows you to turn off that particular instance of EQ to just hear what it's doing to the sound. Patching into their security cams and routing to you. Patching into their security cams and patching into their security cams and routing to you. So this allows you to take the EQ out and see what the effect of that particular instance of EQ is doing to the sound. Below the bypass button is the EQ type button. Bell is what we generally use and the bell EQ is called that because it's bell shaped and it has three functions that are controllable. First is the frequency. You can use this knob or you can drag it. Then there is the gain. That's how much we're boosting or cutting that frequency. Again, you can use the knob or you can drag up or down. And then there's the Q. And the Q is how wide the bandwidth is. That means how many frequencies next to that particular frequency that you're selecting are being affected. So right now with a low Q, we've chosen 478.68 hertz. But also you can see that quite a few other frequencies are also affected. If we look at a thousand hertz, you can see that a thousand is also being boosted. And if we look at 200, we see 200 is also being boosted. As we raise the Q, less frequencies to the left and right of our main frequency are affected. If we bring the Q up all the way, then we have no frequencies affected on either side. If we lower this, this is called Notch EQ. This is used often when you're cleaning up dialogue and you want to get rid of hums and buzzes. If you want to get rid of an instance of EQ, you click this red X and that will delete it. The other two types of EQ we're going to work with are the low cut and the high cut. A low cut will cut all frequencies below your main frequency and a high cut will cut all frequencies above your chosen frequency. The other setting that's helpful to know on a low cut and high cut is the slope. Right now we're at a 12 dB per octave slope, so it's not a very drastic slope. So although we're cutting at 358, if we look at 100, we are still not cutting it completely. We're still going to have some of those frequencies passing. And as we go down, less and less will pass. But if we change our slope to something higher, now the slope is much more drastic. So 100 hertz is being fully cut. This works this way with the high cut filter as well. High cut and low cut are really helpful when you need to remove all the lower frequencies. Let's say there's a lot of rumble in the sound, or if you have a lot of hiss above the dialogue, it's also very helpful. 